So the Lord of the foreign lands, the foreign countries, we understand that uh, we look at the different stellas, the rare pronounced stellar, and it talks about Israel, Yisrael, right? Um, and the Haru, the Hebrew. Understand Kuku Klan in this location, the Goku and the Hebrew, the Giku, the Goku, Kuku, Kuku people, right? Um, the Messi and the crown here in the West, the sunset, the eastern wind, Shu, the Shashu. Understand the West, Shabbat, the home, the resting place, the dwelling place. In the hidden land So understand this is The lord of the foreign countries The epithet To Google To understand uh, The ancient Hebrew capital Of the love Thousand BC, ten thousand. Look at Gaspar Yanga, fifteen seventy, and his revolt. Right after the fall of the Aztec Empire, which is about fifteen forty-two. Understand that Gaspar Yanga, a Yoruba, right? So we look at the Yoruba. Is there a connection with the Yoruba? See here what happened to the Chinese man who had no rights in California to testify, because in eighteen fifty, California created a law that no black or mulatto could testify against a, a white person on the. It's in reference to this transition of the suns so the renewal of the sun and all of the solar mythos around this time at the end of Sagittarius where you have the death of the sun this occurs in this basin all right so when we look at Moses pattern the pattern that was shown to Moses and this great basin that encompasses these four cardinal points or these four regions this was essential to the pattern and to the order that kings, Negus rulers, would have to follow. So when we understand rulers in in a sense today, um, looked as kings, the mighty is the strongest, right? But rulers had to measure, and they had they had a purpose. So when we look at Psalms eighty two, and it talks about God having a purpose to deliver the the poor, the fatherless, and and the widows. When we look at these these people that they brought. Um, in the times that they came, teachings that would cultivate in regions and lands, right, to sustain their area or their region specifically because they had universal knowledge. So these universal travelers that traveled along this pattern shown to Moses, this cross, when you look at Hebrews and to cross and the crossings and thoughts and that the mark, and Cain and the mark as Cain left the Canaanites we have to understand linguistics and language and why people name themselves after certain monuments we understand the, the most high put his mark upon Cain right so this is essential thing to Cain and why you see the land of Canaan and Joshua coming in to conquer this land of Canaan but understand this formation of time and seasons and we see how in certain regions, they have two seasons and four seasons is only in certain subtropics, northern and southern, right? But 
when we look at the sea zones and how and this particular map the, even the revealed wind the Pacific patterns and the traveling before even it was along the migration by white people. Uh, after the fall of Rome for about a thousand years until 1492 yeah. Europeans had no access to the western hemisphere so you look at Thorhedro so and you see how he took the same style ships from the pre so this is the style here the crescent style right so when you see the dragon the serpent and the snake understand that this and this culture of the dragon the serpent the Naga, the Seven Heads, the... There's a solid archaeological evidence that African sailors... More so you look at Peru and you see the Moshika, understand this is a Moor, right? Moor, so you understand the... Look at the Pacific Ocean and Salome. The dwelling place, the resting place, the oath, the swearing that the most high. So the Pacific time zone, the 120, 120 degrees, 60 degrees from there brings you to the middle of the ring of fire. So the Pacific Ocean, right, is the borders of that make the Pacific Rim are 120 degrees east with the Yam, the Canaanite deities, the waters, Baal, and this worship. You know, understand where it comes from. Look at the Canaanite deity, Yam, Yami, right? And you understand the South Seas, Hebrew number H3220, the South Seas, the Great South Sea, and that region, that region of the Pacific Rim, the Ring of Fire. Then Yam, you understand what being a Hebrew is, meaning to go across. And you understand Abar, to cross over. What did they cross over, the Hebrews? Before? I understand the, the, the dividing of the kingdom of Israel and the Jews and the Moors are coming to the new world. The, 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 these foreign lands, the India, in the Greek word says the 12 tribes scattered abroad in the book of James in the first chapter. You understand the broad diaspora. We look at the Indies, understand the diaspora. So here in the Greek New Testament, you have evidence and proof that they had knowledge that the Tolteca, right, were the 12 tribes of Israel here in the Indios, in the Indies. We understand diaspora. We talk about diaspora. So you understand Pyro, fire in the middle, move mutual point for the for the beginning and the ending of the new, the new day Los Angeles right the city of El last look at the spiral understand the dragon the volcanoes the Pacific the trans the transition from the ending and the beginning of the day the Golden State the dawn where you see the dawn the understand the tribe of Dan and the submerged continent fire in the middle Understand the three kings, right? Understand the wise men. We understand Piru and Peru, Paheru, the first and the last, the lost kings. The last. Understand the term Indians, why they call this Indian, Dia, and the day, the last part of the day. We talk about diaspora. So you understand Piru, fire in the middle, move, the mutual point for the. We're talking about diaspora, the ending part of diaspora, the Spiro. Understand Piru, Peru, and pyramid. The new and the Caribbean and the Taino Ta'anu understand the relationship with Cain and rulership and the scepter and the mound with the cross with the ball. We look at the Caribbean and canoe and Cain understand uh, the west coast and the canoe and where it originates even to this day. So when you look at the mystery of the cocaine mummies, understand Thorhedro, the restyle boat, Peru, Lake Titicaca, and the trans-Pacific and transatlantic trade that had been going on uh, pre-Diluvian and also pre-Columbian. That if they made contact with the South Americans, things like corn or other cultural commodities would have returned with them. And that's just not appearing in the archaeological record. The Egyptians have traveled to South America. If someone could prove the theory of transatlantic travel and back it up with a significant amount of evidence, it would open a big can of worms for the scientific community. foreign lands, the India. In the Greek word says the 12 tribes scattered abroad in the book of James in the first chapter. You understand the broad diaspora. We look 
at the Indies, understand the diaspora. So here in the Greek New Testament, you have evidence and proof that they had knowledge that the Tolteca, right, were the 12 tribes of Israel here in the Indios, in the Indies. We understand diaspora. We talk about diaspora. So you understand Pyro, fire in the middle, move, the mutual point for the for the beginning and the ending of the new, the new day, Los Angeles, right? The city of El, last. Look at the spiral, understand the dragon. The volcanoes, the Pacific, the trans the transition from the ending and the beginning of the day. The Golden State, the dawn, where you see the dawn, the understand the tribe of Dan and the submerged continent, the submerged waters, the land of the Vulcan, the volcano. In the form of Horus in the Kim. Swoop on him there. Swoop! Look. You see him? You see him? September we met. I could tell by your smile. You hadn't been with a good girl. Swoop on him there. Swoop! Look. You see him? You see him? 